on September 25, 2000. Kevin Hines climbed the railing of the Golden Gate Bridge. That day, white fog hung under the gray sky. He remembered looking down at the wavy green waters below before doing the unthinkable he jumped. My hands went off the rails and I immediately regretted my actions. Hines told CNN. According the Bridge Rail Foundation, nonprofit organization that works to prevent suicides on the bridge, Hines fell 220 feet at 75 miles per hour. This is equivalent a pedestrian being hit by speeding car. During the four-second fall, Hines said the feeling of depression left his mind and was replaced by what he described as an almost instinctive drive to survive. And all I wanted to do then was live. And ever since, Hines has traveled the world to share his rare testimony. I have met thousands of people who have survived mild, moderate, and extreme suicide attempts who say they each had the same immediate regret, Hines said. They realized that their thoughts did not have to translate into their actions. More than 1,800 people have been confirmed to have jumped from the Golden Gate Bridge since it was built in 1937. According to the Bridge Rail Foundation, the first incident occurred in the same year. Hines is one of 39 people known to have survived the fatal jump. 19 of them came forward to say that they all experienced the same instant regret that I experienced, Hines said. The Golden Gate Bridge suicide safety net is seen in San Francisco on April 5, 2023. Golden Gate Bridge. Courtesy of the Highway and Transportation District after years of debate over installing a suicide deterrent on the iconic bridge. The network is now nearing completion. In 2018, Golden Gate Bridge. Highway and Transportation District began building a network along the perimeter of 2.7 Malaylong Bridge. The 217 million project involves installing a stainless steel mesh 20 feet below the pavement on both sides of the bridge. According to Golden Gate Bridge spokesman Paolo Kosalich Schwartz, the amount of network we've built is equivalent to seven football fields. Kosalich Schwartz told CNN, It's a project that proponents hope will offer many people a second chance at life. While Heinz stated that everyone who jumped might have any regrets, he said he could not help but empathize with those who experienced the same feeling and did have the chance to choose life, to acknowledge that all the people who might have wished they were still here. That's a very disturbing thing to think about, he said. Symbol of hope and care Kevin Berthia tried to jump from the Golden Gate on March 11, 2005. However, after jumping, he remained clinging to the railing for more than an hour and a half. I spun myself around and hit the railing and landed on that four-inch cord, Berthia recalled. Mental health advocate Kevin Berthia, who survived his own suicide attempts, poses in Sacramento, California. In 2021, Rich Pedrincelli AP she held on to that thread as California Highway Paw.